The most famous geyser in Yellowstone National Park is Old Faithful, which erupts every 90 minutes. But visitors to the park on Wednesday got quite an eyeful when an unpredictable geyser put on a big show. The steamboat geyser erupted for the first time in eight years. The world's largest geyser shot hot steaming water up to 300 feet into the air for nine minutes. No one can predict when steamboat will come to life. In the past, it's gone up to 50 years without a major event. Yet in 1964, it erupted a record 29 times. Yellowstone is located mostly in Wyoming, and it contains 75% of the world's geysers. The eruptions are caused by a buildup of hot water and steam in a natural underground plumbing network. Erupt sooner than expected. Yellowstone National Park is currently a placid and majestic landscape, but lurking beneath the surface is a supervolcano that wreaks widespread havoc whenever it awakens. Scientists have long expected it would take centuries for Yellowstone to transition to an active volcano again, but now they're cutting that timeline down to as little as a few decades. The Yellowstone caldera has erupted three times over the last 2.1 million years. It would have been a perilous time to be in North America during those eruptions, but geologists note that many of the park's features like geysers and hot springs are thanks to the underlying volcanic activity. To take the park from calm land escape to fiery hellscape, the caldera needs to fill with magma. Once the pressure reaches a certain point, the volcano comes roaring back to life. The timeline for that resurgence is up for debate. A study of Yellowstone caldera in 2013 assuaged some fears when it found that the magma chamber beneath the park was about two and a half times larger than previously thought. Since the chamber is drained after each eruption, it should take a rather long time to fill it up. Or so you would think. A new analysis of the caldera suggests that the magma chamber could rapidly refresh. In this case, rapidly means several decades, but that's a geological blink of the eye. Researchers from Arizona State University sampled fossilized ash deposits from the last eruption 631,000 years ago. This eruption spewed 240 cubic miles of rock and ash into the air and left a 40-mile hole in the land escape. That depression now makes up most of the park. Crystallized formations in the ash allowed the team to track the increase in temperature over time. They expected to see the process take place over hundreds or thousands of years. However, the increase in temperature seems to have happened very quickly. That means magma could surge quickly into the chamber and lead to an eruption. That's the bad news. The good news is that Yellowstone is one of the most closely watched geological systems on Earth. A network of ground sensors and satellites keep tabs on the caldera for signs of activity. Stopping an eruption is currently outside our power, but we could at least work to mitigate the potential damage. Although, there are some who would like to head off the next eruption before it ever happens. Yellowstone supervolcano could explode with devastating hydrothermal eruption. The Yellowstone supervolcano could be set for a devastating hydrothermal eruption, a leading scientist has warned. Yellowstone is a hotspot for hydrothermic activity and such an eruption could leave a mile white crater and would be extremely harmful to any life. U.S. Geological Survey's Cascades Volcano Observatory geophysicist D.R. Michael Poland insists this type of explosion poses more of a risk than any other eruption. A hydrothermal eruption happens when an underground reservoir of water is heated by the volcano and violently explodes like a giant geyser. Large rocks, boiling water and ash are thrown into the air and a similar event left a 1.5-mile crater in Yellowstone 13,000 years ago. Hydrothermal explosions happen regularly at the park leaving craters of a few meters across, but a much bigger event could happen, DR Poland warned. He told the Daily Star online. Most hydrothermal explosions are very small. Those are not uncommon. These would affect anyone standing within a few meters because it throws rocks up into the air and scalding water. But here are some bigger craters that are a few hundred meters in diameter so this attests to a very large volume of water a much bigger area would be hit and more life would be destroyed than with any other type of volcanic eruption.
DR Poland, said, the direct area of the crater would be devastated and some of the deposits from the explosion would be found a few kilometers from the source crater as you move farther away, the impact will lessen. So if you're within a few kilometers, you would definitely be subject to these impacts, ballistic, basically large rocks that are flying through the air, and little surges of ash that would be extraordinarily harmful to any life. Yellowstone is thought to be long overdue for a cataclysmic super eruption. The danger posed by an event like this is so significant that it has led to NASA proposing a bold plan. The risky solution proposed would see the space agency drill into the volcano to release the heat. Some fear the plan could backfire and cause an eruption and nuclear winter widening much of the life on Earth. Yellowstone Supervolcano Breakthrough Experts to pinpoint eruption date A geology expert who studied the Yellowstone Supervolcano has revealed it will go from quiet to the edge of an eruption in a flash. Hannah Shamlua, an Arizona State University graduate student, and the volcanology team spent two weeks at the National Park in Wyoming studying the massive crater to predict when the next super eruption might occur. They examined fossilized ash deposits from the last time it exploded, approximately 630,000 years ago, to collect traces of crystal that were once inside the magma chamber. This allowed them to pinpoint the exact changes that occurred to Yellowstone right before the last eruption. And it revealed Yellowstone went from asleep to spurting tons of fire, ash and lava in an incredibly short time period. Chris Detail, a geologist at Arizona State, we expected that there might be processes happening over thousands of years preceding the eruption. It has led experts to believe the conditions that are precursors to a mega eruption can happen within 10 years. Miss Chandler added, it's shocking how little time is required to take a volcanic system from being quiet and sitting there to the edge of an eruption, despite not being able to work out the exact event, such as seismic activity, that triggered the last eruption, they hope to be able to do so soon. A Yellowstone eruption would be absolutely devastating, covering half the Earth in an ash cloud that could trigger a nuclear winter. The study comes as NASA was revealed to have come up with a risky plan to prevent a Yellowstone explosion. Brian Wilcox, a next member of the NASA Advisory Council on Planetary Defense, said risky proposals to prevent an eruption could go wrong with possibly disastrous consequences. One of the methods would be to drill into the bottom of the United States volcano and to use a pressurized spurt of water to release heat from the magma chamber.